Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisperer 88. This is a sequel to the previous video called Precious Metals. And I will never let a good ghost print go to waste because I noticed that uh, the residue of the metallic paints uh, are very interesting. But I'm going to try a different approach today. I created this collage with black tissue paper. This is a, a warm-up exercise done on white tissue. And this is a piece of copy paper which I had printed out and cut. In order for me to do this, I have this template and this is what I use to position my plate and make sure that the center lines meet. So I'm starting with the collage already pre-pasted. And what I intend to do is try to retrieve this ghost print and superimpose it on this. So you will see this in a few minutes. So let me get started. Now I have mixed some raw sienna. This is almost running out. So I squeezed a few drops here with my Lucas Beige to create this mixture. And I watered it down just a little bit, not too much. So that's what I'm going to use to retrieve this. Oh, before I do that, I'm not going to forget my characteristic marks. Oops. I'm just drawing circular strokes randomly. Now the ink is not very dark, so it's going to be kind of a subtle background texture. And hopefully the residue which is a metallic paint will come up. I think the mixture is a bit watery because it's uh, forming these uh, blotchy textures. Now I will, in order to remedy that, I will add some of the raw sienna directly out of the bottle just to thicken the mixture a little bit not too much 
just a little. It's just a few drops does the trick because the uh, the raw sienna, especially blicrylic, has a bit of extender in it. And the extender has a soapy, kind of a slimy consistency. Now this uh, slimy consistency allows the paint to stick to the plate. And since it sticks to the plate, it's going to pull up whatever residue is there left before. Here is the piece that I'm going to lay on top of this. Again, I'm using the heel of my hands to apply pressure. All right, so I will leave this for another 10 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see what we got here. I hope the collage doesn't come off. Well, some of it is partially coming out. That can be fixed. I like the way it's picking up the uh, Sharpie. I think the result is a very nicely textured surface. And the black is uh, it's a nice counterpoint. The black is not as uh, harsh. So uh, pretty pleased with this. So I'm going to air dry this and then decide the next step. Back in a few. Okay, I'm back after a short break and the uh, desk fan did a good job drying this uh, paper out. This is, by the way, Fabriano Artistico. And I noticed since it's uh, a nice heavyweight paper, it uh, dries very nicely. It doesn't buckle and it goes back to its original nice flat condition 
So anyway, this is the result of having the collage first and then having an overlay of semi-transparent raw sienna. And I was going through my box of uh, scrap and I thought to myself, I think these are quite attractive. These are the uh, pieces of cheat sheet that I had made. So I uh, decided to do a layout previously. And so I will proceed to mount these. I'm going to start with the straight shape here. My hand must have uh, static. Now the uh, black contrasts with the collage piece that has paint on top of it. I want to do this piece here. Okay. Then I think this will work like so. This goes like that. Now the fact that this fragment of cheat sheet has paint on both sides, that will help it stick to the paper. I never imagined this could be effective as a collage element. I was uh, ready to toss this. Okay, let me do this properly by having my gluing pad. This is going to take a bit of glue. And what I love about Mod Podge is that 
it just disappears when it dries. Okay. I think that's pretty effective. Now I'm going to uh, air dry this with the desk fan and then recap when this is done. Okay, back from a short break and the collage has dried pretty much. And I think the uh, Mod Podge is doing its job. Now I uh, am going to put a final touch with my Sharpie Metallic. And I'm just going to place some There. I think the lines of copper kind of pull everything together. So let me show you a close up. As you can see, the textures are very intricate. And actually the first coat of scribbles look like crayon or pastel. And I think it's the nature of the Fabriano uh, when it accepts the acrylic paint, it acts like a watercolor because technically Fabriano is really designed to accept watercolor. It has a tooth on the surface and it helps to disperse the, uh, the watercolor. So... I'm pretty happy with this result. I, I was not expecting this. And I didn't expect to be using uh, cut up pieces of my plastic cheat sheet, which I was intending to throw away. Uh, actually, it's pretty effective uh, 
collage element. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Please share this with your friends. Give me a thumbs up. And for those who have subscribed, thank you so much. And I hope to see you next time.